So this right here is your Y intercept. It's a lot easier to use this image. <coughs> this is uh, your base. It's also your growth or decay factor. So let's say I have something like this. This is also the initial value. I decided not to know how to spell it. Um, so I am going to have dy over dt. So I'm going to take the derivative here, and this is going to be equal to, if you remember, A is your constant. So I'm going to have the natural log of B times B to the T power. In other words, if you remember this, you probably forgot, to the X power, its derivative dy dx is equal to the ln of 2 times 2 to the X. Remember that derivative? Yeah. Okay. We don't? Okay, I'll even show you why. So I can come here and I can take the natural log of both sides and I get x times the natural log of two. If I take the natural if I take the natural log of both sides, are you okay with that? The derivative of this is one over y dy dx. This is a constant, the derivative of that is one, so I get the ln of two, correct? So now if I multiply both sides by y, I get dy over dx is equal to the natural log of two times y, but what's y? Two to the x. Well, that was really fast, but is it making sense? Okay. So, then what I can do is, I said, uh, this thing right here, this product, notice that I can rewrite it like this. I'm just looking at that. This right here is y, isn't it? So I can say dy dt is equal to y times the natural log of b. And this natural log of b I defined as I define as k. So dy over dt, the differential equation is in the form of k times y. So whenever you see this, you know you're going to have <coughs> this differential equation is going to create an exponential function. Here's an example. Okay, I'm going to just set them up. The weight of an animal is increasing at a rate proportional to its weight. So I'm increasing, so I have a rate, dw dt, and it's proportional. So I got my k value times my weight. Right here I have a bacteria, bacteria, bacteria population is shrinking at a rate, proportional, so I have a rate, so I have dp over dt. It's proportional to the population size. So this will be an exponential function, this will be an exponential function. I'm gonna solve this using separation of variables. This is kind of what we just did a little while ago. I'm gonna have one over y dy is equal to k dt. I'm gonna integrate both sides. I'm gonna get the natural log of the absolute value of y. Over here I'm gonna have kt plus C. Remember K is a 
constant. That means y is equal to c e to the k e power. And this k is equal to the natural log of some base. Like when we doubled, k was equal to the natural log of 2. When we were using a half, k was equal to the natural log of 1 half, or the negative natural log of 2. Does everybody see that connection? And so if you see this, you automatically, this differential equation will automatically give us this populate this exponential function. So you see these, like this one right here. This one will be y equals c e to the 6t power. Think about that. I'll have 1 over y on this side. I'll have 6 dt on the right side. When I integrate, I'll have 6t plus c. So right here it says y is equal to 5 when t equals 0. So my equation must be 5e to the 6t power. This is going to be y is equal to 6, excuse me, c e to the negative 3t power, but I'm told this initial condition, so I know c, it is 4e to the negative 3t power. Can we use our expression? Hmm? It says dy over dx, why can't we have dt? Oh, it should be x here. I didn't see the x. So it should be here. So used to time. It says an animal weighs three pounds at birth, so C is equal to three. Four pounds just three months later. So I'm going to have the weight is equal to C E to the KT power. So the weight is equal to three E to the KT power. I'm told that in three months, it's now four pounds. So four equals three E to the K times three. Which means I have the LN of four thirds is equal to three K. So I have one third LN of four thirds is equal to k. And that was approximately 0 0.096 was k. So that means my weight is equal to 3e to the 0 0.096t. And in how many months does it ask? Five months, three e to the point zero nine six times five gave me approximately four point eight four point eight four six. 